Well, hello. Uh, today is Sunday, and on Sundays, it's a pretty relaxing day. You know, usually you don't get very long videos from me. So, uh, you know, just hanging out, doing some work. Um, thought I'd stop <laughs> instead of driving right now to do this. So, um, let's see. What cool stuff's coming up? Uh, next week we have a pretty full schedule of interviews on the Jeremy Womack Show, so you're probably going to want to stay tuned in for that. And a lot of good stuff going up on the websites, uh, so you want to stay tuned for that as well. I plan on making a lot more review uh, type videos for um, my other channel, which is Jeremy Womack, D-O-T-C-O-M. Uh, you can go over there on YouTube and uh, check those out. Uh, go to some restaurants, uh, more movie reviews, since people seem to like those. Um, some club reviews. Really uh, beef up that channel with more review stuff. So, uh, anyway, everything's going well. And today is a relatively nice day. It's 54 degrees, a little overcast, but. It's a relaxing day anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, try and give you some more footage throughout the day. I know it's been lax. I know the videos aren't going up on time. Um, you know what it is. <laughs> you know, I see like 10 views of a video. I'm like, hmm, people were so into this when I first started. Not so much anymore. But anyways, it's not necessarily always for you guys. It's for me to uh, put up my daily diary. So... I'll continue to do so. I had uh, somebody say, where are the videos, Jeremy? So uh, apparently there are plenty of people that enjoy watching them. So uh, stay tuned for more footage. Well, it's the end of the day, and it was a cool night. Um, it is Sunday, so what is it? I don't know. You guys probably recognize this gate. It's at Sky Tower. And uh, Lysie and Tom's house, Sunday movie night. We come over here. And the... <laughs> The two movies we watched, I brought over, and they are far from being similar to one another, that's for sure. Um, watched Religious, the Bill Maher movie about uh, religion. It's a very cool movie. <laughs> um, mm, I don't suggest you watch it if you're like a real big Bible thumper, and you get mad at people that... Uh, make you think instead of just like going on blind faith so uh, if that's you then you probably won't like it um, but after that we watch Scarface because why not that's a good mix first you see religious and then you see Scarface oh the lovely circus circus it's so funny this hotel here when I was a kid, my dad would drop me off Circus Circus to uh, play in the Midway. In the Midway they have video games and they also have uh, a lot of like those games uh, that you win stuffed animals and things like that. Uh, look at this McDonald's by the way. Um, so you win stuffed animals and crazy stuff like that. Might as well go check my mail while I'm over here. And uh, could drop me off for four hours on 20 bucks. Twenty dollars. As, as a kid I could entertain myself. And uh, yeah, you can't do that anymore. Video games A cost more money. And look at this douchebag. Sorry. Sorry limo driver you're, you're a bit of a douche is making a uh, U-turn on a red light. Anyway, anyway, uh, back to the Circus Circus. So 20 bucks would entertain me for four hours. And I, you know, I was smart about it. I, I played the games I was good at, so that quarter would last me quite a while, but it would keep me entertained while he went around and did his, uh, his gambling and stuff like that, which is fine. I'm no worse as a kid today because my dad did that. So all you parents out there that think that uh, 
other parents said, you know, do that with your kids. Your kids are going to turn out bad. They're not. They're not, okay? If your kids turn out bad, it's most likely because you're just a bad parent. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. Here at the uh, post office, which happens to be right down the street from Sapphire Gentleman's Club. And I'm going to check my P.O. box. If you guys would like to send me gifts or things like that, you can. P.O. Box 14145. Las Vegas, Nevada, 89114. You can send me gifts and money, <laughs> whatever else you want, I guess. Again, P.O. Box 14145, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89114. And you already know my name. And I'll probably put it in the sidebar, too. I don't know why. Maybe you want to send me something. Just no bombs or anthrax, please. Thanks. Uh, have a great night. Good seeing you as always, and I will talk to you tomorrow.